Mining in EVE Echoes is much more complicated than you might think. If you do not know what you are doing, you will do it wrong. So in this video, I will show you everything you need to know. This video will have advanced tips for mining that are currently not in any other video, but this video is also meant for beginners, so let me start at the beginning. If you click on your face, and then on ship tree, and then on the faction called ore, you will see a progression of mining ships. The Venture is 40% more efficient at gathering resources in the Venture Trainer, but you can use insurance to get your Venture Trainer back, often making it the better option for beginners. The Venture 2 is 80% more efficient than the Venture trainer. Of course, as you increase your skill level and quality of your lasers, you will experience even more efficiency, but I'm not factoring that into these equations. Then when you hit tech level 7, you will be able to use a retriever, which can mine resources over twice as fast as the Venture 3. But since retrievers use strip mining technology, you are no longer able to choose the exact resource you mine, which makes it even more important that you are mining in a low security zone so that you are getting enough valuable resources. On that note, some of you guys have been confused by Nettie's wording here. This does not mean that a retriever can only use one strip miner. Rather, it should say something like, strip miners enabled because you can fill all of your high slots with strip miners on any of these three ships. At tech level 9, you will get access to the Procure, which is disappointingly only 16% more efficient than the Retriever. And then at tech level 10, you get access to the best mining ship in the game called the Coveter, which is 28% more efficient than the Procure and 800% the efficiency of a Venture Trainer. But these numbers are a little bit skewed because there is one important factor that I did not include because at tech level 10, it will completely break the game and the devs will probably have to fix it. And that important factor is mining rigs. On the 11th day of playing, you will get rewarded with some free prototype mining rigs. These are great for starting off and showing you how things work, but they are not a good representation of how mining rigs actually work in the game because they only give a 12% bonus. At 12%, most people won't realize that miner circulation is so much better than miner efficiency because miner circulation only increases your mining rate by like 1% more than miner efficiency. But then at the first level, it increases it by like 5% more, and then the second level increases at 8% more and then the third and fourth level breaks the game because the difference gets so high that they overpower the penalties of having multiple rigs. For those of you who have not seen my third tips and tricks video for this game, when an item says that there is a penalty for using more than one of that type of item for that ship, the second one receives a 13% penalty, the third one receives a 43% penalty, the fourth one receives a 72% penalty, and the fifth one receives an 89% penalty. And while that is still true for mining rigs, rigs are first added together before taking effect, making percentage reduction rigs more powerful the more you use. So for an extreme example, if you take three mining circulation four rigs, the first one reduces mining activation time by 35%, which increases your efficiency by 54%. But then the second one, even though it only decreases your activation time by 30 because of the 13% penalty, that 30% gets added to the original 35%, making the total reduction 65%, which increases your overall efficiency by almost 200%. And then the third one, even though it receives a huge penalty, reducing it from 35% to 20%, that 20% gets added to the 65%, making the total reduction 85%, which increases your overall efficiency by almost seven times what it was. So at a higher level, mining circulation rigs are going to be almost 10 times as effective as miner efficiency rigs. Now, like I said, hopefully the devs will balance this out a little bit, but just in case they don't care, I've been going ahead and buying some of my miner circulation three rigs now, um, just in case, you know, they, wow, they're already gone up, but look, that guy just listed one for 85 million. So I'm probably gonna go buy that one. Because another thing to keep in mind is that unlike ships, rigs can be used at any level. So once someone hits tech level eight, they will be able to sell those rigs to any other player in the game. So that is an overview of rigs. Ventures are allowed to have two rigs, whereas industrial ships are able to equip three, making an even bigger difference on the efficiency of the ships. And as I mentioned, if the devs do not 
hotfix level four rigs, then eventually these efficiency numbers will look like this. In addition to having more efficiency, more advanced ships will have more effective hit points, drone slots, capacitor, etc. Industrial ships are a lot slower at warping than ventures, and they have less inherent warp stability, but they are a lot tankier and can use medium drones. If you are mining in Nullsec, as you should be, it is much more dangerous to be in an industrial ship. Now, ideally, you will be mining in groups with your alliance with a few warships to guard you, but there are many times that that does not happen, so there are two ways to stay safe if you are mining alone. The first way is to set it up to where you can always get away. This is really easy. First, when you get to the belt, choose the ore that is the furthest away from you. That way, when other people warp in, you will be the furthest away from them. Second, align yourself to a station or planet or stargate that you plan to warp to if someone comes to attack you, and then cut your engines while you are still in range of that ore. If you do not know how to cut your engines, make sure to check out my second tips and tricks video for this game. Lastly, zoom out so that you can see when someone warps in. The second way to stay safe is to make your ship battle worthy. This does not mean putting weapons in your high slots because that defeats the whole purpose. Rather, a good battle worthy mining vessel is the one that has good armor, good drones, a Nosferatu, and a neutralizer. Since your opponent will likely need to fill all of his mid slots with warp disruptors, the best way to win a fight is to drain out their capacitor to where they can do nothing, allowing your drones to slowly kill them. I do not recommend trying this if you are mining alone, but many people will have an alternate character that mines with them, and this tactic is particularly useful when you outnumber your opponent. Often they will continue to attack because you're in mining vessels and they think they can win even though they are outnumbered. But when three ships are draining the energy of one, they zero out pretty quickly, which means that they cannot shoot their weapons, activate their defenses, and even their warp disruptors will stop working so that you can run away with one of your ships. The lower the nilsec rating, the better the chance for a condensed belt to appear. These condensed belts are almost identical to normal ones, but condensed ore is 10 times as efficient as normal ore. When you find one of these, make sure to notify your corpse so that everyone and their mother will come out and drain that belt completely dry, as it is literally 10 times as efficient to do so. Which on that note, I have noticed on the market that condensed ore is often listed for more than 10 times as much as normal ore. If you're one of those people, you can go ahead and take down that listing because no one is going to buy that ore as there is no special properties to condensed ore other than it being 10 times as efficient. Now sometimes you'll be able to get a little bit more than 10 times as much money for it because people like to buy in bulk. But if your listing is not even close to 10 times as much then you might as well take it down because no one's going to buy it. After you mine the ore and take it back to station you will notice the option to reprocess it for minerals. I strongly recommend not reprocessing any ore that you do do not have a specialization in because an expert reprocessor will get over twice as many minerals as you would. This is why specialization is so important as I explained in my video with 300 tips and tricks for this game. If you are mining specifically just to get ISK, then it is important to have an Excel sheet with the current market prices for each of the types of ore and then divide that price by the M3 of that ore. Since your mining rate is directly tied to your M3 of that ore, whatever item has the highest number number here is the best item to mine for ISK. In fact, if you want to get fancy and input your current M3 mining speed per minute, you can see exactly how much you can make in ISK per minute of mining. And then if you're an expert reprocessor, you can make even more money by breaking it down and selling the resources. Well, that's it guys. That is an exhaustive overview of mining in the EVE Echoes. Hope that helps. If you like this video, please subscribe because for the next month or so, I will be making more exhaustive overviews like this on Fridays covering different aspects of this game. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.